Yeah, what I'm saying is, now who tell you say because you are a born slave or you are a born houseboy, you cannot become the king tomorrow? Or is it the chief or Emmy Alba you want to hear? Or district head or whatever? Who told you because your mother died before you were born? You're in childbed. You cannot make it. Are you going to question the order of the universe? Or our atmosphere? Or our ancestors? Or DNA? Why you were born the way you were born? I don't think so. Yeah. Jimmy Cliff said long time ago, man was made to suffer. Women were made to feel the pain. I don't believe in that narrative. A man is not born to suffer. A man is supposed to enjoy all pleasure because in pleasure were you born, not even in sin. If we are not, if your parents were not happy, how could they give birth to you? So, women, well, it is the sacrifice because of procreation, being the part of life. Before there's an entrance of life, there must be a passage, which is the duality of nature, that is pain and pleasure, must balance. And that is why, from beginning of time to end of time, there will always be poorer people than rich people. Not that anybody cannot become rich. Everybody will become rich. No person they poor, nobody they rich. Problem is, you are the one who is making what is happening in your life be a reality. Because you hold on tight so much to money. If you hold on tight so much to money, how can you get richer? It's not possible now. Because unless you leave your hands open and it goes through, is it possible to use a basket to fetch water? Or is it possible to submerge a calabash into underwater? No matter you throw a cat, can the back ever hit ground? My forefathers can control the elements of nature and create rain. Rain will show and they will say, let it stop, it will stop. They can do that. Who told you you can't do anything? If you demonize your ancestral belief, can you make it? You cannot. So, 